I started getting interested in photography, uh, believe it or not, when I went over to Vietnam. My father had a, a little camera, uh, and it was called a bullet, a little Kodak, and you twist it out the front, and then you popped up a little viewfinder, and uh, it was a 127 film, very rudimentary, um, but it did pretty well. Uh, and uh, once I got back to the States, I started getting really interested in buying my first film camera. Of course, since then, things have changed and I finally went digital. I was one of the last holdouts for that um, because I didn't feel the need for it. And then when I found out it was hard to get film, it was hard to get it processed. I went digital and it just made things easier. Uh, film, of course, still being uh, the purest form of photography. Well, the, the, the biggest thing and what got us or got me interested in still photography uh, was uh, we worked for the Department of Parks and Recreation back in 1995 and uh, took three, two and a half years of shooting and uh, a year and a half of editing and created a television show featuring about 104 state parks. Uh, we were on the road a lot, but it turned out to be fairly successful. Uh, it's still running on PBS somewhere. We started running in 1999, and it's still running somewhere now. And it's run just about everywhere. I started shooting abalone when I discovered that if you shot very close, close up, cleaned it out real well, then you've got a contrast of something that's pretty homely on the outside to something that's real colorful, vibrant, and intricate on the inside. And uh, I made certain sizes for it because I had so many customers that would say, I love art, but I don't have anywhere to hang it. So I thought, well, this could be put on a, uh, perhaps a, uh, a wall divider or above the kitchen counter or in the bathroom because steam doesn't hurt them. It's polished aluminum, which, and it's got a little coating on it which keeps it scratch resistant. And uh, I've heard that it's not supposed to fade for, oh, maybe 200, 200, 300 years. Of course, I'm not going to be around to verify that, but it certainly will last throughout a couple of lifetimes. I shoot landscape pretty much. Uh, I don't uh, Photoshop. I'm not real fond of Photoshop. What I do use, which is pretty commonplace for a lot of people now, is... Uh, is HDR, which is high dynamic range. When you shoot, let's say you're shooting into a sunset and it's got things in the foreground, the light is going to be so bright that the aperture is going to shut down and you're going to lose, the sun will be perfectly exposed, but everything else is going to be just a silhouette. So what I do with HDR is you shoot one overexposed, one even exposed, and one underexposed, and then they're combined in a computer, because even the camera is a computer, and, I, and I, uh, I, uh, I tell the camera to shoot that, and when I push the shutter button, it's real fast, and you get, you eliminate those contrasts of light and dark, um, and you can see this, uh, for example, in the, uh, what I call the before the storm, that was the first real test of HDR, where everything has its own value. It, it, Everything lines up so you get equal, equal billing, if you will, uh, for each of the segments, be they light or dark. Composition is a big thing. Most people will take a photograph of people and put their eyes dead center, which means you've got a lot of sky and you have, you've, you've knocked out a lot of the lower part of the body, which is, uh, you know, is, uh, is essential for a good photograph. So composition, that's the rule of thirds. And, and so close to that is the lighting. Lighting is everything in photography. It's not so much in painting, whether using acrylic or oil, because you can, you can create your own lighting. Uh, and that doesn't always, that doesn't happen with photography. You have to have the right light to get the right exposure so that it has the right look and it is interesting. I shoot with Nikon. However, I don't think there's really a whole lot of difference between one brand or one make of camera and another because they all do the same thing. Shutter opens, light goes in, shutter closes. Uh, it's just what you feel comfortable with, how much you want to pay. Uh, you don't have to be brand loyal. 
just because I use a Nikon doesn't mean that a Sony or a, a Panasonic or, a, or any of the other brands uh, uh, named uh, uh, cameras are going to shoot any better or any worse. It's really who's shooting. It's up to the photographer to make a good shot. You can shoot some of the, you could take a really uh, cheap camera. You're not going to have those little intricate, you know, differences, but if you have a good eye, still going to come out good.